afternoon, after the morning, after the evening, wherever it is that you are in the world. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I need to get a little muffler on my um, uh, windjammer, that's what it's called, on my camera. But uh, I haven't done that yet, so I apologize if there's any 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 weird noises in the background uh, that's from the wind, because we're on the train platform heading downtown with my parents. Uh, my parents are in there right now, uh, hiding away, because it is really windy out here. They got kind of cold. And uh, we are going to a playoff game, a Raptors game. Super excited for this. Uh, last time, Mel and I got a chance to go, um, and my dad was uber, uber jealous. Uber jealous. And uh, he really wanted to go. He watches a lot of sports, and, and so we're going. But uh, they are down 3 nothing in the series uh, against the Cavs, so this might actually, I, I'm hoping they win, but this might actually be their last game of the season. Just the last game of the season, so uh, hopefully it won't be. Really good game. Little train action. Train action. You excited for the game? Yeah. Are you excited for the game? No. Are you excited? No. Who's gonna win? Raptors, of course. Oh, Raptors. Okay. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Uh, like I said, they're down three and zero. Final game. Let's see if they can do it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, I feel like the energy levels there are going to be pretty, pretty on point. So uh, yeah, be an exciting game. You're excited though, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Three games. 30 minutes of game time. No, no, 34 minutes. There's a clock. Let's get it in here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Chug it, bum. Chug it. All the way down. Finish it. Finish it. Chug it. <laughs> Fun fact, she used to be like the best chugger in university, but it wasn't with beer, it was with vodka. Fun fact, that's where I get it from. We're hanging out with Drake. We're hanging out with Drake, we're so cool. Hang out with Drake. Oh yeah, still hanging out with Drake. Still hanging out with them. Oh, we're still hanging out with them. Little magician act. We're getting crushed. We're getting crushed. We're getting crushed. 61 49. This might be the last game of the season, but I'm still hopeful. Pretty awesome seats, though. I'm pretty damn excited. Dad's having a good time. My mom's in the washroom. But huge thanks to SeatGeek for hooking us up today. It's been a lot of fun. If you ever need tickets, go to SeatGeek.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you use code FURIOUS, you'll save yourself some dough. So thank you again to SeatGeek for hooking us up, having a great time with the parents. Halftime, hopefully the Raptors can uh, actually pull one off here. Last time. Like tossing like bears. Listen, I need to it. Ladies and gentlemen, the final score is Cleveland 109 and Toronto 102. Sad. So yesterday was a lot of fun. Got to go with the parents uh, to enjoy a, a game. Uh, something that doesn't happen that often. Especially, I don't know, just every time I can, I can do something special with my parents like that, it's very, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel good. And uh, I, I like it. And uh, sometimes, you know, I, I, I love everything about... Um, but moving and, and being in a house and living with Melissa, but sometimes you're reminded, hey, you know, I used to, I used to live with them. I used to do like a lot of activities with them and everything like that. So once in a while, and you can go away, go to an event like that and just simply enjoy it. And they had a lot of fun. In the gym, in the gym, in the gym, in the gym, in the gym. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. So we're gonna do it, warm it up. Mom's warming up. Diva's coming soon, but getting a little workout in. Today is a uh, folding and organizing day in the gym. That means, well, here's a little, it's a little pet peeve, not a pet peeve, but just, um, I always make our apparel, back in the day, back in the day, I used to get apparel here and we all folded it and spent hours upon hours upon hours folding it and organizing it and everything, bagging it and all that. Um, and now, I, and I basically realized I don't have time for that. 
I also don't want to get other people to do that here. I want it to be done off-site and pay people to do it off-site and just have it delivered bagged. And we got, I was told everything was bagged when a delivery was happening because we get everything done locally, right? Um, and it got sent here. And all our brand new, like our, our restock of crisscross pullovers were not bagged. They were just, everything was done for them. They just weren't bagged. And so we just spent uh, a good amount of time just folding a bunch of them now and gonna continue later on. And just a little, little, a little furious, I could say. I think I would say that, yeah. I'm a little furious that it wasn't done. Um, so we're getting it done here. Just sometimes that happens, sometimes that happens. We'll get it done, get in the mode to you guys. Um, they are my favorite sweater of all time though, 100%. 1 that we decided to do tonight just randomly because it's fun um, these stainless steel necklaces uh, that everyone's been loving we're going to include a few of these in a couple of our new crisscross pullovers and what we're gonna do is simply we'll take one and well not like this they're in their packaging like so they're in their packaging and we're gonna put them in here we're gonna toss it in here it's gonna be a surprise so there's gonna be a bunch of you guys getting crisscross pullovers with these guys, and it's gonna be a surprise, a big surprise. So if you guys want one, grab one. Um, another thing I want to mention, some people were like, oh my God, it's not winter anymore. Why'd you guys release these? These, are, these aren't like super, super warm or anything. Like that. They're cozy. They're like, they're made from terry fleece. So that means that they're not super thick fleece or anything like that. It's like a nice thin fleece. So if there's a cold summer night, it's really comfortable to wear. Um, and even just lounging and stuff. That's why I'm wearing it nonstop. Um, anyways, I am going to get out of here, go home. Melissa's cooking up dinner, a late night dinner. That's something that we need to change in our life, to be honest. Uh, something that I am not exactly pleased with. Um, yeah, we need to change this big time, which is late night dinners and going to sleep way too late. Um, I feel like we're at this age where, at a younger age, it was totally fine. Uh, I guess, with my job, I can work at any time of the day, and, that, and that's true. But I feel like there's so many nights where I'm going to bed at three in the morning, getting up at nine, or getting up at eight. Not enough sleep, first of all, sometimes, a lot of times. Um, and secondly, it's just like getting into that rhythm of going to bed so late when you really can structure your schedule where I can get up at seven and go to bed at midnight. That would be awesome. That's my idea schedule, and that's what I want to work towards. We, I think, you know, simply having dinner so late, because right now it's like 10.30, simply having dinner so late does not help our schedule. Does not at all. So that's something that we need to change. What'd you make? Oh, ben buongiorno. Buongiorno. Come to my kitchen. Open up the thing, and I cook them up with the tomato with the grilled chicken and the garlic and olive oil. I got a nice twist of pasta for you with olive oil and a little bit of salt for the flavor. Okay, now you get it, you plate it, and you put it some of this on it, and then you put it some on top. That's it? Those are all the instructions I get? Yes, to eat, to come, you How do I eat it with my hand? Plate. To put it in the to eat. Do you eat with hand? No, you use a fork. You are a normal boy. You don't have a hands, then you know use a fork. You have a hands, you use a fork. Okay, there you go, bellissima. So guess what came in the mail today? Uh-huh. One of these things. It's the craze of the internet. These fidget spinners. They are I took it out and it's just it's it's so much fun. Like like check this out. Like you guys will be impressed. I mean, if you've yes, some of you guys have probably like already played with one, had a good time, and everything like that. But check this out. How cool is this? Oh, super, super cool. This is so satisfying. It just doesn't stop. Doesn't stop. 
But online they're saying, like there's videos that say, oh, a thousand miles per hour, 999,000 miles per hour. Come on, bros, come on. Doesn't make sense. So anyways, I uh, got it, my own first fidget spinner. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely um, satisfying, but I also think that I can get better ones and cooler ones. So I might do a little, have a little bit of fun with these fidget spinners over the next, next little while just because they are fun. I'm not just, I don't know, they are fun. I think that could be a lot of fun that can be done with them. I'm gonna get creative. Um, yeah, would, let me know what you guys think of fidget spinners, if they're annoying or if you really do like playing with them because right now, this is my first time playing with them and they, I could see why they are fun and why people are playing with them.